Thank you, Patricia. That was wonderful. So we might have noticed uh, some tight areas or some sensitive areas as we started moving and warming up. So uh, that's part of the awareness of movement. So let's start by grounding ourselves. So just squeezing the legs up and down with our hands as a way to, again, ground ourselves and maybe find a little respite from a hectic day or maybe some uh, concerns or anxiety that we might feel. And let's use these hands to squeeze along the arms as well. And you'll end up with a nice hug. Maybe a reach for the shoulder or the shoulder blade. And enjoy your hug here. And start gently rocking side to side. This is self-soothing, comforting, self-regulating, always available for when you need a little break, a little respite, you know, you can resource yourself. Yeah. Nice. And release, release your hands on your lap, on your legs. Well, maybe anybody felt a little tightness in the neck. So let's begin with taking care of the neck. Interlace your fingers and place your hands at the base of your head or just one arm or just the two fingers or one hand. If that's all that's available, that's great. It works just as well. So on the inhale, press your head back as you tuck your chin in as if you were pressing against the wall behind you or maybe the headrest of your car seat. Exhale, release. Inhale, press your head against your hands or just press it back. Tuck in your chin in and exhale, release. One more time. Inhale, press your head back. Tuck your chin in and exhale, release. And maybe now you feel maybe your shoulders a little tight, shoulder, shoulder blades. So let's move the shoulder with the breath. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades as you hug your rib cage with your elbows. Inhale, shoulders up. And exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades and hug your rib cage. Nice. Inhale, shoulders up, and exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades. Nice. And we go in between. Nice. So we can do some snow angels, too, for the shoulder blades, the rhomboids, the muscles in the back. So you can start with a W or with arms to cactus. And then on the inhale, just lift them any way that feels good and exhale release them down notice that we want to sit towards the tip of the chair for moving uh, more freely inhale arms up exhale release them down inhale arms up and exhale cactus or w nice excellent so now let's move down the spine and maybe the lower back is a little tight. So we'll start making some circles. Just easy circles in one direction. And if you feel like continuing maybe with the cat cow, you can arch and round your back as you come back in the circle. Nice. And then the reverse, change direction. And you can just move easily with your back relaxed, or you can cat cow. Cow as you move forward, and cat round in the back as you move back. Nice. Good. And we'll come back to center. 
and so I will move to the hips. And the hip might be uh, feeling tight or they just need to be awakened. The muscles and the joints need to be massaged and awakened. So let's start by holding the chair, the base of the chair, the, your chair seat, and widen your um, your leg a little bit, and then just wave side to side. And we'll start just by moving gently the hip side to side. And Excellent, like a windshield wiper, right? And now, a, just an easy passive movement to massage the hip socket. So you hug your knee with your hands and move in one direction and then change direction. So we'll just massage the hip socket, the hip joint. Great. Switch sides. Again, just hold it gently and make circles. And change direction. Nice. Now, feet on the floor again. Again, you want to sit towards the front of the chair. And then we can do the seated pigeon, which is really good to actually start opening and stretching the hip. So you can start by just crossing uh, the left ankle on top of your right foot. And that is an easy way to start. Or you can, if it's available to you, you can just place your left foot on your right thigh. Flex your foot so that your knee is safe. And gently follow the breath. Maybe you can stay here without moving, just breathing. Or maybe after the inhale, you can exhale, hinge at the hip, and just fold forward. Remember, flat back, engage your abs so your back is safe without rounding. Inhale, release. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, release. And Exhale, fold forward. Maybe you let your arms go down and fold a little further. If that's available to you, inhale, release. And switch side. How does it feel? You might have an extra awareness there now. Now let's cross the other leg. So right ankle on top of your right, uh, left foot. You can stay here and breathe along. Or if it's available to you, you can place your right foot on top of your left thigh, flex your foot, and again, inhale, exhale, fold forward, inhale, release, exhale, fold forward, remember, fold at the hip, crease, and flat back. Inhale, release, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, release, and uncross your legs, and just notice how your right hip feels now. Nice. Now we can do the low lunge to release the psoas and the hip flexors in the front of your hips, so we'll start turning to the right. Drop your right leg down, and here really you want to sit towards the very edge of your seat. And just let gravity release your psoas. Hands to the heart. Inhale, arms to cactus. Exhale, squeeze your shoulder blade. Shine your heart. Look up if it's available to you. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart. And come back to the center. As we come back to the center, it reminds me to drink water. As we come back to the center, widen your legs. Again, sit towards the tip of your chair. 
toes pointing to the outside, let's find our goddess pose. You can keep your arms soft or you can have a little more of a um, empowering posture. <laughs> so we'll inhale and exhale. And on the exhale, we actually make a sound with our voices, a very powerful sound. So inhale, arms up, exhale, ha, <sighs> squeeze your shoulder blades. Inhale, arms up, exhale, ha. <sighs> Inhale, arms up. Exhale, ha. Nice. Beautiful roar in your room. So now we'll do the low lunge on the other side, turn towards the left, and drop your left um, left leg so that your hip flexors can just release with gravity, hands to the heart. Inhale, arms to back. Exhale, twist your shoulder blade, shine your heart. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, hands to the heart. And come back to center. Now we can do our um, warrior two. We can extend the leg back. Keep your uh, knee on top of your ankle. And if that's too much, we can certainly do our warrior two with one leg straight in front and the other one open to the side and arms parallel to the floor, strong arms in both directions and look towards the, um, the hand to the right and maybe palms up and down to relax the shoulders. Nice. And release. Turn the other way. Again, it can be just an L shape with your legs or being at the very tip of, of your chair. You can extend the leg back, micro bend into the back leg always, and arms parallel to the floor, strong arms in both directions, and palms up and down to relax the shoulders. And release. And just shake, 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 pat, 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 pat. Release a little bit. Now, <clears throat> we want to also use the chair as a um, a, way, a tool to, uh, as a prop to help with balance. So we might do some poses standing up. And we'll start with the chair pose. So we want to contract the quads, engage the quads, and of course your, your core muscles will help as well. And if you need help, you can certainly press on the seat of your chair, or you can hold your hands to the heart, or cross your arms in front, so you decide what what works best for you. And so we'll press the feet into the floor, engage your quads, and keep your knees parallel. If your knees tend to come in the center, you can use a block or a book, if you have it, and really squeeze that block in between your legs. So that's a little uh, help for awareness and to hold the pose. So here, if it's available to you and you want to stay in your chair pose for a few minutes, let's do our lymphatic self-massage. And if you need to sit down, you sit down and continue doing your lymphatic self-massage upward on all sides of your arms. Lymphatic self-massage, we know it's for our immune system, for our detoxification. And once you get here, you can also do your tap, tap, tap on the thymus gland for lymphatic, for, um, to strengthen your immune system. And then a little gentle massage of the lymph nodes under the armpit. Very nice. And then swing your arms back. And on the inhale, come all the way up to standing. And we'll move 
with the chair to the side and we stand behind the chair. Nice. So just about a foot away from, from the back of the chair and use the chair for support. So here you can bend one leg, flex your foot, engage your glutes and press as if you were pressing into a wall behind you. We'll do this a few times. And the strong glutes will help with low back pain, especially besides looking good. And release. Switch leg and repeat. Just press back and come back. Nice. I'm sure you felt a little. We'll tag at the glutes, right? Now, straight leg, one straight leg tap. And if it's available to you, extend the opposite arm straight in front of you, come up. And we'll do our, our sunbird. If it's available to you, you can hinge at the hip, keep your back flat, and move the leg back a little bit more, like, a, like that bird drinking water. It's okay to stay here. And then on the inhale, elongate from the tip, from the fingertips all the way to the heel. And exhale, crunch or bring the hand down if that, um, if the leg is more comfortable for you, just moving the leg. Inhale, elongate, exhale, crunch. Inhale, elongate, exhale, crunch. Now inhale, elongate. Bring the hand down, and the leg goes across to the left side, and look over your shoulder towards your toes, and breathe into the right side of your body here, lengthening and opening. You might feel it at the hip, you might feel the rib cage opening, and then bring the leg back. Shake, shake, shake. <clears throat> and then let's repeat on with the left leg. Left leg straight back, and right arm, opposite arm straight in front of you, thumb up. And on the inhale, elongate from the fingertips all the way to the heel. And exhale, crunch, or bring the hand down for support. Inhale, elongate, exhale, crunch. Inhale, elongate, exhale, crunch. Inhale, leg straight back, hand come in, comes back to the chair, and exhale, bring the leg all the way across to the right side. Look over your shoulder towards your toes, and breathe into the left side of your body, opening and lengthening. So just pay attention to what your body is telling you, and use your breath to nurture and soothe any area that feels tight. And always remember, you can take an extra breath on the area that, on the side that, that is tighter than the other. But we always want to move in balance both sides. Bring the leg back. Shake, shake, shake. Now we can turn around. Use the chair as your support uh, if you need to. And you can bring your foot towards your glutes, your buttocks. And stretch your quad, and then release the leg. Open the left leg to the side, your heel into the floor, bend your knee on the right leg. You can keep your support here. And just press with the hand, sliding your hip back slightly, and just feel the hamstring stretch here. Breathe into the stretch and release any time that you, you had enough, and release, shake, 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 now we can move the chair to the other side, and just switch, reach for your right foot as you stretch your quad here, and breathe into the stretch. 
So hold your breath. And then release the right leg with the heel into the floor. Stretch your hamstring. And just press gently with your right hand onto your left leg. And so the hip will slide back. And there is a gentle pop there, and that's always good. And release. Shake, 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 shake. And now from here with the inside leg, you can make a tree if you like. And you can just uh, rest your heel onto your ankle. So your left leg is open to the side. All your weight is in your right leg. Or you can venture up along the shin. Make sure you don't press into the knee. Never do that. Good. And just notice if you need to realign your hip on top of your knee. We tend to just swing out, right? So we want to align, realign the hip on top of the knee. Very nice. And you can let go of the chair, find a drishti, a focal point in front of you for balance, and to the heart, and then you can release it. Shake, 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 shake. You can keep the chair where it is, and now put all your weight into your left leg, and open your right leg to the side. Again, you can have it easy, uh, easy tree. Remember, bring the hips in or climb up along the shin, find your drishti in front of you for balance, focal point, hand to the heart, and then you can release. Shake, 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 shake. And now we can find our mountain pose as we bring this portion of our class to a close. You can find your mountain pose Standing, or you can come back and sit on your chair. Have a, mo a moment of uh, to center. So you want to have your feet flat on the floor. Maybe draw your belly button in as you keep your spine long but relaxed. Relax your shoulders. Palms facing up on your legs. If you're standing, you can um, also have the same the same awareness of your of your body, just alert but relaxed. And you can close your eyes for a moment or lower your gaze down to the floor and connect with the energy and the awareness of a mountain. Strong, resilient, welcoming all creatures, steady, and remember there are no mountains without earthquakes. And then you can open your eyes or keep your awareness and bring your awareness back to the room. And just wiggle a little bit and we'll get ready to move to music. <laughs> 